All right, guys, here's a quick DIY on how to build your own laminar flow hood. All right, so this is just a Honeywell air purifier that I got on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description. It was about $350. It has three speeds and it is a HEPA filter. So as you can see right here on the front, there's a grill that gets removed. And behind it, there's a filter, a pre-filter, I should say. You can see how much dust is gathered. So the pre-filter just sticks on here with a couple pieces of Velcro and comes off, but it created an air gap for the dust to get sucked behind into the HEPA filters. So to prolong the life of the HEPA filters, I just use some green painters tape around the edges to seal it up nice so that everything gets caught in here in the pre-filter, which I can easily vacuum off. Pull the tape off here so you can see. So behind here, as you can see, there's three different replaceable HEPA filters. Uh, I've been running this for almost two years now without replacing them, and I'm still getting about a 99% success rate with all my cultures and transfers. A few moments later. You want the top of this to be level with whatever surface you're going to use to put it on. All right, so I've got it propped up on my bucket and we're level with the table. All right, guys, so as you can see here in the bottom of this, uh, I've got a hole cut out that's an oval, same shape as the top of the HEPA filter. So I've got it sitting on the table now. And I've got the HEPA air filter turned up on high. So you can see how much pressure is behind it pushing my curtain out. So I've got this curtain on here so that it's not collecting dust on the inside when I'm not using it. I just roll the curtain up and put it on top. There's some extra light. I just put this little dome light on top. And that way I have lots of working light. And as you can see, I have a pre-filter in here. So this is just a 20 by 20 or a 24 by 24.3 micron furnace filter. Just a cheap furnace filter from Home Depot. And you can see I've got it installed about this far back. So that way the air filter is pumping air up, which is collecting in this cavity here and then it's backing up behind this filter and coming through evenly. And as you can see, Honeywell on the box here, all I've done is I literally used the box that this unit came in and I cut it up into this interesting shape of a triangle of sorts to scoop the air. And then this is just a clear corrugated plastic sheet that I bought from Home Depot. I'll list out all the materials and the costs that uh, I used to build this, but like I said, it's been about two years and I have about 99% success rate. I do all my transfers and my cultures right here and it works absolutely perfect. So about $350 for the unit and maybe about $50 worth of these extra parts. So you've got an amazing two foot by two foot laminar flow hood for about $400 instead of the thousands of dollars that they cost online. So this is just a corrugated sheet of plastic from Home Depot that I cut with a knife into the specific size to work around the air filter that I got for the inside. And then I just used some Gorilla Tape to tape the corners together. And because this is corrugated, it was open here, so to keep bacteria out, I just put a piece of tape around all the edges to seal it up. It makes cleaning it uh, pretty nice. And as you can see, I've just really taped this filter with as many different types of tape as I could find. What? Uh, I got some red, some blue, and some black. What the fuck? Um, and actually, I was a little bit off with the sizing of my corrugated box because as you can see, the filter squished. So I had to squish it about uh, half an inch to get it to fit because I didn't measure properly. 
And as you can see, it's a little squished in there, so I didn't exactly build my box to the size of the filter. I was a little bit off and then had to squish it in there, but it's been working great. All right, guys, so that's about as simple as it gets. I've got the $350 air filter. I've got the box that it came in that I've cut up and taped together in a triangular shape is to scoop up the air, catch it here, it builds up behind my pre-filter so it comes through evenly and I have a 99% success rate with all my cultures not having bacteria or any kind of contamination. Absolutely works great. If you guys have any questions, drop me a comment. Uh, I'm always happy to help out. Thanks and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.